following program is rated TVMA, LSGWPA. It contains strong language, sexual situations, guy with the Boston accent. It is intended only for immature audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Sub-Sona too, right? Yes! You just made it! Just a formality. Let me see your ID. Sure. You must have left it out in your car. Or maybe out in your scooter? No. Here it is. Oh. Alright. Mr. Jose Lewis. Oh, seems legit. Six foot one. Red hair. Weight 260 pounds. 49 years old. That's legit. Though, let me run it by my colleague Dave here, get his professional opinion. Just to be on the safe side. Wow, great picture. You were having a terrific hair day. Yes, hair does look good here. Kid, what do you use, a conditioner? He's got to use a conditioner. There's got to be an herbal shampoo in the mix somewhere. Ooh, possibly an herbal shampoo with a conditioner. Either way, results spectacular. Hair looks great. And <laughs> Now get the hell out of here. You still here? See ya! Bye! Come back in a few years when you grow some hair in your sack. You know, you gotta admire the balls on a kid like that to even give this a shot. Dave, I'm not gonna admire some young boy's balls, you sick pedophile bastard. Well, enough about me. What's a kid like this doing walking the streets of Hollywood at two in the morning? Yeah, no shit. He should be home raiding his parents' liquor cabinet and watching you porn like a regular kid his age. Yeah, yet, he should be out in the streets of Hollywood freaking trying to score some molly or weed like a regular American teenager. It's these millennials. They just want everything handed right to them. I'm worried about our country with these vape smoking, everyone gets a trophy fucks being our future. Whitney Houston warned us about this. She said, I believe the children are our future. She also said crack is whack, so I'm not sure how much we can rely on her. Wait, didn't she die? I believe so, Dave. I believe so. Yeah, never open 24-7, 24-7. Dealers dealing, Salmon. crack it, crack it, yeah. Ten twenty-five. I love that I can fit two and a half beers in this thing. Just looks like I'm supporting the company, man. I love that you think these clueless cultural vampires don't know that there's beer in that cup, you raging alcoholic. I'm not talking about you, my friend. Next. Hey, hey, I'm not an alcoholic. I'm a functioning drunk. Yeah, what's the difference? The difference is, Dave, alcoholics gotta go to all those fucking meetings. Drunks, we just wake up all hungover, delete all our drunk texts from the night before, avoid anyone we pissed off, and then we just start all over. Wash, rinse, repeat. It's a shocker you've never been in a relationship that lasts more than three months. Hey, maybe because I work at a convenience store and I'm pushing 30. Sorry, 35. Well, there's that and your impotence. That's gonna be 425. Why do you gotta be such a dollar, man? That was supposed to be a secret, man. That'll be 454. Do I detect a New York accent? Oh, shit, lady, now you've done it. New York? No. Fuck no! Not from New York, from Boston, lady! Oh, sorry, they all sound the same to me. Nah, actually, they sound nothing alike. As a matter of fact, the worst thing you can say to someone from Boston is, Are you from New York? Some places that could get you killed! Or at least spit on. Boston, my kids went to college in Boston. 
Where did you go to school? <laughs> oh, let's see. I received my cash register degree from Harvard and my master's in stocking shelves from MIT. Oh, 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 oh. Say park the car in Harvard Yard for me. Say it. Go ahead, say it. Go ahead, say Ryan. It. Say, it. say it. You love that shit. Am I a monkey up here doing tricks for a treat? Hey, lady, you want me to roll over and play dead too? Yeah, I'll say it for you. Yeah, I ain't gonna say it for you. Say it for you. I'm gonna park my car in Harvard fucking yard. But first, I'll run your ass over with that car. Jesus Christ, man! She just confused your accent with a New York accent. She's a psychopath. Fuck her. Fuck Harvard yard and fuck cars. Jesus Christ. Oh, next. Good choices. Is that a New Jersey accent I hear? You from Jersey? Get the, the fuck, fuck out of here! Go! Go! See ya! program is rated TVMA, LSGWPA. It contains strong language, sexual situations, guy with the Boston accent. It is intended only for immature audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Yeah, yeah we're open 24-7, 24-7. Hell, even on the weekend. Open 24-7, 24-7. We got overpriced, cold as ice, never gonna treat you nice Shopping, lift a smoking and a drinking Hookers, locusts, ladies of the night Pimps, perverts, losers, dudes who just ain't right 24-7, 24-7 Yeah! How do you even on the weekend open? 24-7, 24-7 do even on the weekend? Seven, Trunks and homeless Dealers dealing, dealing. cracking, crossed out. Jersey accent I hear. You from Jersey. Get, Get the, the fuck, fuck out of here! Go! Now. Go! See ya! See man, it could always be worse. Worse? I doubt it. The chick was in here the other night. I saw her. She's cute. She, she wasn't asking about you, I'm not gonna lie. Come on. <laughs> No, Bob, you didn't. Are you shitting me? No pun intended, Barbara. <sighs> These nuts from the fucking nut house are driving me nuts. Lots of puns intended that time, Barbara. <sighs> fucking store had to be located around the corner from a mental rehabilitation home. It's a big word, Ryan. Yeah, and there's probably a big turd on aisle three. Ah, oh, dude, gross. It's disgusting. Barbara, that's it. If you shit in the store again, that's it. You're done. You're banned. You're gone. Clean up in aisle five! <laughs> so I'm... Oh. You got this one, man. I cleaned up the last... Oh! I got oh. the last one. What do you think, Fernando? I jinxed myself with that hole. I can't get any worse than I did, man. 
<laughs> What's the deal, Finales? Say something to me. Come on, man. What's the deal with you, anyways, huh? You a billionaire on the run? <laughs> you embezzle a bunch of money? Now you're hiding out from the government? I won't tell anybody. Pretty, yeah, you one of those Hollywood method actors? Shush. Doing a research for your next role? De Niro, Pacino, Christian Bill. I know something's up, huh? I know something's up. I know you'll play character one of these days. Huh? I hope up there when it happens. <laughs> shit, shit, shit. You can always talk to me, Fernando. Oh, fuck! What did, what did Bob have Mexican with a side of brand muffins? Holy oh, shit. Yeah. Hey guys. Stevie! What's going on? You here to work the rest of my shift? Yeah, I just got back from Marion's apartment. I don't think so. You mean your apartment that somehow she kicked you out of? So you're not gonna work the rest of my shift? Kind of a dick move on your part, Stevie. What? What? No, no. Oh, no, man. She was there with some new dude. Wait, you were over there with them? No, I, I was courteous enough to wait outside across the street while they, they hung out and watched movies and played board games or something. And then I, uh, you know, when he was done and left, and I, I went in and grabbed some of my clothes. Maybe working the rest of my shift will take your mind off this whole situation. What do you say? Nah, I'm kind of suicidal today. I'm tired. Tired? Yeah. That's a lame excuse. Just take some of these seven-hour upper pill packets, wash it down with some energy drinks. You'll be fine. What do you say? Stevie, let me get something straight. So you waited outside the apartment for a couple hours while she was inside with a, another dude getting her rocks off. He leaves, then you go inside to get your clothes. When I went in, it did not smell like sex, and so I don't think they were banging. Yeah. They were definitely banging. They were definitely banging. Uh, yeah, they were totally bumping uglies. By the way, she probably had his load still up in her while you were in there looking for oh, your shitty clothes. Dude, that had to come be. Come on, dude. It give, had to be. Give the poor guy a break. Besides, we all know Mary Ann Swallow. I told you that. You didn't have to tell me. Yeah. You didn't oh, have to. Oh, wait a minute, dude. Gross. You didn't kiss her, did you? Kiss. Is that oh, why you're brushing your teeth? No, no, no. No, no, no. no. no listen, listen, listen. She's just trying to find her spirit animal or realign herself, you know. That's all. Instead, he found her with a dick in her mouth. No, 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 listen, listen. She's trying to figure things out. And when she does, she'll come back to me. I can tell. And oh, yeah, she'll be right back. She will be back. I mean, she'll have a worn, stretched out vagina and a scorching case of VD, but she will be back. You know what? I'd still love her. Oh, wow, that's true love. <laughs> Adorable. You're a lucky man, Stevie. Good night, guys. Hey, Stevie, last chance. You're gonna work my shift or what? I'm going to love. Hmm. Kind of selfish move if you ask me, no? Probably why she broke up with him. Cause he's selfish! And by loft, he means a small crawl space above an open 24 7 Sunset Strip store bathroom. Well, you gotta admit, it sucks to live up there, man. Especially after I destroy the toilet after two Raphael bean burritos. Much like heat, stench rises. Is everybody in Boston as disgusting as you? No, they're really not. No? No. Yeah, because like, you're pretty disgusting. Hey, it's a normal bodily function. I'm a human being! None of that is normal. And I'm not quite sure that you're a human being. The jury's still out, my friend. is rated TVMA LSGWPA. It contains strong language, sexual situations, guy with the Boston accent. It is intended only for immature audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Yeah, yeah the open 24-7, 24-7. Never 
gonna treat you nice Chopping, live to smoking and a drinking Hookers, locus, ladies of the night Pimps, perverts, losers, dudes who just ain't right 24 7, 24 7 Yeah! How do even on the weekend open? 24 7, 24 7 How do you even on the weekend? 7, Trunks and seven. Dealers dealing? Seven. Yeah! Is everybody in Boston as disgusting as you? No, they're really not. No? No. Yeah, because hey, you're pretty disgusting. Hey, it's a normal bodily function. I'm a human being! None of that is normal. And I'm not quite sure that you're a human being. The jury's still out, my friend. Uh, I am a human being. Yeah, you know what? I am, uh, I'm gonna go stock the cooler. Hey, hey, Dave! I know you're a raging alcoholic and everything, but you fill this up for me and stop to lose my buzz. I need to keep sucking down the beers! I'm not filling that up for you. What, just because you're an alky, you can't touch a can of beer? I hate peas, I can touch a can of peas. You're fucked up, man. I'm gonna go stock the cooler. Come on, do the right thing. Help a brother out. First of all, you're not supposed to be drinking at work, man. What are you, a fucking knock? You a cock blocking me from alcohol? You're a what are you, a member of ISIS? Come on! Second of all, I'm not gonna be complicit in you becoming a raging alcoholic, as you so poetically put it. Oh, dude, I just picked up human shit in aisle three. You're fucked up. I'm going to stop the cooler, okay? Yeah, like you're not going in there to stuff your face. I'm going in there to do my job. Yeah, right. Then your job description must say eat a dozen pieces of string cheese, two pounds of prepackaged cold cut meats, some chocolate milk, and then what? Take an hour, hour and a half nap? Give me the fucking cup. I knew that'd do it. I love you, buddy. Fuck off. Fill it to the top! Hi, Ryan. Oh, Justine, you scared the shit out of me. I feel like Barbara. That bitch is nasty! How you doing, Ryan? I'm doing good. How you doing, Justine? I'm doing good when I see you, Ryan. Oh, you're good. You're good. You're good, Ryan. What the fuck are you looking at? Get home with your business. Justine, Justine, you here for the usual? Why don't you go grab it, bring it up, I'll ring you up. You can be on your way. Okay. Okay. I'm here for the usual, Ryan. I figured that. Ooh. That was attractive. Oh. Justine! I think you beat your previous record of eight seconds topping off that can. No! <laughs> You're right, Ryan. Mm. You're right. program is rated TVMA, LSGWPA. It contains strong language, sexual situations, guy with the Boston accent. It is intended only for immature audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Yeah, never open 24-7, 24-7. Teaching nice shopping, live to smoking and a drinking. Hookers, locus, ladies of the night. Pimps, perverts, losers, dudes who just ain't right. 24 7, 24 7. Yeah! How do even on the weekend open? 24 7, 24 7. How do even on the weekend? 7, Trunks and 7, 
deal is dealing. Salmon. 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 Man from Boston. Well, if it isn't Beverly Hills finest security patrolman Marcus and Anthony, the greatest cop duo since Ponch and John, Starsky and Hutch, Cagney and Lacey. Yeah, I don't know any of those motherfuckers you just mentioned. That shit sounds like a burn. See what I'm dealing with here, Ryan? With these millennials? If it wasn't before 1998, they don't know shit. Anthony, relax. That's a compliment. Those are some of the greatest cop duels of the 70s and 80s. Though now that I think of it, they all were white. And that Cagney and Lacey one, that was definitely a burn. Those were a couple of old ugly bras. See, I knew it. Shit ain't right. All right, here we go. Hey, where's my hand go anyways? Over here? And do I pull you in or you pull me in for the hug? Do I bow here? No, you don't bow, motherfucker. This ain't General Child's chicken or some shit. Yo, man, just be natural. Don't force it, let it flow. I just gotta practice. Practice? Talking about practice? I'm gonna hang around some dudes to practice his fucking handshakes? Come on, man. Look at the NBA, NFL, even Major League Baseball. Those dudes, black and white, they have to be practicing those elaborate celebration handshakes, no? Man, you ain't ready for no NFL fucking celebration handshake. Shit, you can't even do an NHL handshake at this point. Ah, NHL doesn't even have celebration handshakes. Exactly. But wait until we get more brothers up in that game. You'll be tearing up that ice, handshake the fuck out of each other. Holy shit balls, Ryan. There's some grade A pussy roaming these Hollywood streets tonight. Car 73, we have a 459S coming in for 3750 Juniper Lane. Please proceed to that address immediately and check out the situation. 10-4. Anthony, it's go time. Ryan, thanks for the coffee. Let's rock and roll. 459S, what's that? Lindsay Lohan's cat stuck in the tree? Better yet, is Gary Busey stuck in the tree? The sign alarm. We out. Peace. Hey, let's give it one more try. I think I got it. Man, you ain't got shit. What the fuck was that? Patty cake, patty cake, bakers, man? No. Sorry to rap video, man. Yeah, keep practicing. Keep practicing. I hope that wasn't an emergency. Hey guys, 25, Henry, uh, return your previous frequency, please. is rated TVMA LSGWPA. It contains strong language, sexual situations, guy with the Boston accent. It is intended only for immature audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Yeah, yeah open 24 7, 24 7. Hell, even on the weekend, open 24 7, 24 7. Hell, even on the weekend. We got overpriced, cold as ice, 
Never gonna treat you nice to shopping Live to smoking and a drinking Hookers, smokers, ladies of the night Pimps, perverts, losers, dudes who just ain't right 24 7, 24 7 Yeah! I'm leaving on the weekend open 24 7, 24 7 I'm leaving on the weekend 7, trunks and homeless 7, dealers dealing 7 what y'all wanna do? Come on, once you get your mind focused, it ain't nothing you can't do. What y'all wanna do? Come on, once you get your mind focused, it ain't nothing you can't do. Uh. Come on, come on. What what y'all want to do? Huh? Once you get your mind focused, it ain't nothing you can't do. What y'all want to do? Huh? When you get your mind focused, it ain't nothing you can't do. Come on, come on, come on. Hey, baby, want some beer? Why is this shit locked? Sorry, it's after 2 a.m. Can no longer serve alcohol. <laughs> Yo, what that motherfucker just say? What? Lady, huh? Boy, you move. You got, buddy, ya? Hey, my boy here says you're gonna open this fucking case up, but you're gonna catch a fucking roundhouse with a fucking dope, kid! Uh, excuse me, Mr. Gangbanger. It's after 2 a.m. We can no longer serve alcohol. It's against the law. <laughs> and I know you boys will be respectful of that law. What, what the fuck is this guy fucking saying? Said I can't just open the doors, I'll get in trouble. I can lose this job. <laughs> I'll tell you what, coming on. If you don't open those fucking doors, you're gonna lose a lot more than your fucking job. Oh na la, you gonna see back why? Yo, yo, go you. Hey, good fucking point. Hey, my boy says you try to win some popularity contests or some shit. You try to be employee of the month? What y'all wanna do? Come on. Once you get your mind focused, it ain't nothing you can't do. What y'all wanna do? Come on. Once you get your mind focused, it ain't nothing you can't do. Uh. What the fuck is this? Fernando! Fernando! Anything goes down here, you got my back? Yeah, I didn't think so. What y'all want to do? Once you get your mind focused, it ain't nothing you can't do. Hey, yes, sir. You must not hear so good. Open the fucking door! Is that what I think it is? Order that you better believe it is what it is! Did you keep that on low, medium? Hi. Hi! Twice, motherfucker! Okay, let's everyone remain calm here. Let's not do anything rash. Bato, you better open that fucking door. I'm gonna stab this in the fucking eye. Alright, I'll open the doors. Though, to be honest with you, me getting stabbed in the eye, with that's better than me eating that. I eat that, I'll be in the bathroom for like two hours with the runs. <laughs> this fucking guy, thing with his TV, saying he's fucking saying? What is that motherfucker saying? Hey, cabron, shut the fuck up and go! Nice. <laughs> yeah, let's go! Time. Woo! It's not time making us wait like this. Let's go, let's go. Hurry up, Fato. Where you guys heading anyways? Charity benefit in Bel Air or Beverly Hills? Ready yet? You off to a gangbang and a drive-by in Compton? Uh, Shut the fuck up! Open the door! Fucking spider, what? Let's go! Fucking go. Come on, come on, come on, come on! I'm fucking thirsty, man. That's why I'm not gonna leave a convenience store for the rest get of the life. Get the fuck out of the way! Come on, go, 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 go
Look, hermano, I don't want you going and doing anything stupid like fucking calling the cops. Hey, I won't, man. Good, because if I find out you did, whoo, vato, I'm going to come back here and I'm going to shoot up this place more than fucking Ross, frioles, and queso. Okay? Uh, I definitely won't, because that sounds messy, and I'd be the asshole that's to clean that shit up. <laughs> Adios, amigo. Vios con Dios, my darling. Did you just say Vios con Dios? The only Spanish I know. is rated TVMA LSGWPA. It contains strong language, sexual situations, guy with the Boston accent. It is intended only for immature audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Yeah, yeah they're open 24 7, 24 7. Hell, even on the weekend, open 24 7, 24 7. Hell, even on the weekend. Overpriced, cold as ice, never gonna treat you nice Chopping, lift a smoking and a drinking Hookers, locus, ladies of the night Pimps, perverts, losers, dudes who just ain't right 24 7, 24 7 Yeah! Hell, even on the weekend open 24 7, 24 7 Hell, even on the weekend 7, Trunks and seven. Dealers dealing? Seven. Oh, crack it. Seven. I was just robbed. I was almost killed. Or grossly maimed at the very least. I could have used your help. Robbed? When? Just now, while you're in here sleeping. I wasn't sleeping, man. I was socking the cooler back here. Yeah, whatever. I could have used your help. Did, did they have a gun? No. Did did they have did they hold you up with a knife? No. With needlepoint? What the fuck, man? No, one of them had something. What did he have? The gang leader, he had a, a screwdriver? He, he, the, came at me with a... With what, man? What did he have? He had a burrito, okay? I was brought by a badass motherfucker wielding a steaming, <laughs> piping hot bean burrito. <laughs> oh shit, dude. You're not kidding? Hey, man, you didn't see how crazy it was in here. There was four of them, I was alone. And one of them had a bean burrito? It was heated on high. Twice, motherfucker. Oh, it was heated on high. Yeah, well, you know what? If it was heated on low or medium or even high once, I would have... What would you have done, Bruce Lee? I or would... should I say Sarah Lee, since would... it was an edible weapon? Yeah, whatever. I would have disarmed them using whatever means necessary. But heated <laughs> on high twice? That's like a million fucking degrees. <laughs> oh, man. Well, you know, Dan's on his way. What are you going to tell him when he gets here? I'm not telling him shit. You tell him. You're the assistant manager. My ass, dude. I was back here stuck on the cooler. Yeah, you know what? I'll tell him. I'll just try and leave out the part where you slept through the whole fucking thing. Thanks a lot, buddy. And you know what? This incident, it's between us. I won't tell anybody. 
Yeah, right. Oh man, I used to love those when I was a kid. I see them all the time. Yeah, me too. What's happening, ass and hole? Kazi Nadine, my hated rival from the Open 22 6 store. Hey, if I gotta be ass, and you gotta be whole. No, 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 I wanna be ass. You always get to be ass. I wanna, I don't wanna be whole. It's crap, no, no. You're whole. It's the deal, Kazi, huh? You guys couldn't commit to a couple extra hours in one more day to be open 24 7? Yeah, I thought Indian people were supposed to be hard working. You got a problem with 24-7 commitment to customer service? Motherfuckers, we rest one day and spend time with the families to enjoy fruits of our labor. You internet porn watching bastards, no such warm feelings. Ah, that one hurt, Kazi. Where did your store smoke? Looks like homeless guy work release program up in here. This mother father work here? That's actually the store owner. Ah, fuck faces. I see how your racist 24 7 Sunset Street regime is still only employing Caucasians. Hey, I was in your store the other day. Looks like you guys are only hiring those of Indian descent. Touche, fucker, touche. Smells like an elephant ate a bowl of curried cabbage and shit it out in your store. Actually, that elephant, that was Barbara. True story, true story. Our client's much more classy at Open 226. Oh yeah? Well, Ryan got robbed by a guy waving around a bean burrito like hey, it was a gun. Really? So much for not saying anything, huh, Dave? It's a good story. And that's some shit hitting fan. Yeah, well, despite that, our clients still much more classier than Open 22-6. Oh, yeah. Man who plays James Bond came in and bought our delicious coffee and toilet paper just yesterday. That's gonna need that toilet yeah. paper. Your coffee. Yeah. Well, who was it? The new Bond or the old Bond? Shit off your heads. The new one. Oh, yeah? Well, Brad Voyage comes in here almost every night. Brad White, <laughs> little man on big screen, what did he buy? We're not allowed to tell you. Yeah, that would breach client clerk confidentiality. Small candies meant for child? No, he actually buys magic muscle drinks. And some people don't live by that. Looks like you faces of fuck don't drink the magic muscle drink. You look like stump tail macaque monkeys that just fell into Ganges River. I despise this man. Yeah, I look forward to his visits. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Stay cool. Eight one eight from my motherfuckers. Woo! What the hell was that?
program is rated TVMA, LSGWPA. It contains strong language, sexual situations, guy with the Boston accent. It is intended only for immature audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Yeah, yeah the open 24-7, 24-7. Treat you nice, shopping, lift and smoking and a drinking. Hookers, locus, ladies out of the night. Pimps, perverts, losers, dudes who just ain't right. 24 7, 24 7. Yeah! How do you even on the weekend open? 24 7, 24 7. How do you even on the weekend? 7. Trunks and homeless. 7. Dealers dealing. 7. Cracking. Repertoire Theater. Isn't that the rundown building that used to be the strip club over on Vineland? No, 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 no. It's the rundown building next to the methadone clinic across from the burger joint down on Vineland. Oh. Nevertheless, Theater Literates. Looks like you survived from the night alone in the Hollywood jungle. Brian barely did. He got robbed by a guy waving around a bean burrito like it was a gun. Really, Dave? Sorry. It's a great story, man. Yeah. Robbed by a bean burrito? Is that even possible? Ah, uh, yes, it's possible. As a matter of fact, for the minimum wage I'm making, they could have robbed me with an enchilada. I wasn't gonna do anything. I wasn't gonna try and stop them. I'm sorry to hear that. Now stick him up. Yo, hey, holy shit, guys, look. It's Brad Voyage. Man, look how tiny he is compared to in the movies. Yeah, but doesn't the big screen add six inches? Ha, last year you'd have a seven-inch dick. That was between us. Shut your mouth. Oh shit, here he comes, here he comes. Yeah, uh, is that it? Yeah, that'll be it. That's it? One banana and a water? You made $23 million on your last movie alone. That's not even counting what you're getting on the back end. Ooh, and what about that candy ass, do nothing executive producer credit they gave you? How much you gonna pay for that? Sorry, Brad. He gets sensitive about his fruits. You can just ignore him. Brad? Does he know you're good enough to call you Brad? Look, that's, that's fine. Uh, it's cool, I don't know him like well, that. He's not good enough for you to know because he's a clerk at a convenience store making minimum wage? Whoa, 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 I didn't say he wasn't good enough. Well, Brad, you should know last night this person who's not good enough for you to get to know was putting his life on the line right here in this very store. I never said you weren't good enough, man. Brad, he was kidnapped, robbed with the lethal weapon, and then raped by a gang of vicious thugs. Hey, 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 hey! I was robbed by a lethal animal weapon. I wasn't kidnapped or raped. Alright, maybe kidnapped, but definitely not raped. See, Brad, he's trying to put the rape behind him and move on. No, Brad, that's a pun. You got it? Rape? Behind? You see? It's great wordplay. Can I continue there, Dave? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. And what do you do? You come in with your fancy clothes. He's wearing shorts and a t-shirt. I'm just trying to go to the gym. You come in with your fancy clothes, your designer cologne, your large bank account, and probably have a supermodel waiting for you in your fancy car, don't you? Well, I mean, technically she's my girlfriend who happens to be a supermodel. You don't brag about that, Brad. No one likes a braggart. I was just verifying his statement. Nevertheless, Bradley, last night while young Ryan was here gutting it out on the front lines! What were you doing? Well, you were probably at home making sweet love to that magazine cover girlfriend on your California king-size bed in your multi-million dollar mansion after filling her nose full of the 
highest grade cocaine this side of the Andreas Mountains. All things this man will never know. But one thing he has that none of your millions of dollars can buy is his heart, conviction, and loyalty. Okay, you sold me, I'll just buy a dozen bananas. What about 12 muscle magic drinks to go those bananas? Yeah, sure, why not? You're a good man, Mr. Voyage, despite what I read about you in American Celebrity Magazine. Now, get out of here and go finger blast that super slut right on top of those premium Italian leather seats of that $200,000 car of yours! All right, Brad. Thirty-two fifty. You know what, man? Just keep the change. Fucking crazy. This place is fucking nuts. Be sure to come back now and tell all your douchebag Hollywood friends about the open twenty-four-seven Sunset Strip store. That was awesome. Awesome. You scared the shit out of me never coming back here. Yeah? Just business, boys. All I was gonna get was a banana and a water. All I did was up some a little bit, and you even got a nice tip. That's like a thousand percent increase. Yeah, that math don't sound right. I'm not here to do math. I'm here to sell product and keep those fucking no-talent degenerates grounded every chance I get. No-talent degenerates? Aren't you an actor trying to make it? Yeah. And when I do, I'll probably come the same way as him, and I'll definitely look down at people the same as well. But, until then... I'm gonna bust their balls every chance I can. Besides, I already looked down here. language, sexual situations, guy with the Boston accent. It is intended only for immature audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Yeah, yeah, we're open 24-7, 24-7. Hell, even on the weekend. We're open 24-7, 24-7. Treat you nice, shopping, lift a smoking and a drinking. Hookers, locus, ladies of the night. Pimps, perverts, losers, dudes who just ain't right. 24 7, 24 7. Yeah! Hell, even on the weekend, open 24 7, 24 7. Hell, even on the weekend, 7. Trunks and homeless. 7. Dealers dealing. 7. Crack it. Morning, ladies. On our way to church. It's too early for Frankie fucking fruit. It's never a good time for Frankie fruit. Come on, let me take y'all later today. We can do lunch and then a movie. <sighs> let me get this straight. You think that after working all night, I want to go out on some day day with some banana pushing motherfucker? I peddle specialty drinks too. Oh shit, I didn't know that. That changes everything. Come on, let me take you out. We'll grab a bite to eat and we'll go see the new Brad Voyage movie. He's a good friend of mine. Brad Boyce is a good friend of yours. Ryan, what's this shit talker been smoking? I'll have some too. It's true, Brad was just in here. Got some of Frankie's famous bananas. And muscle magic drinks. Now what do you say? Me to you later today? I think I'll still pass. Looks like you're gonna regret it. One day I'll be even more famous than Brad Boyce and you could have been a lot 
along for the ride. I could have taken you away from all of this. Yeah, well in the meantime, Mr. Famous Banana Man, you gonna pay her cut to Julius? Well, right now, business is slow. Yeah, that's what I thought. Brian, sell us some single beers. Uh, I can't, not till 9 a.m. We got lagers, ales, porters, domestics, imports, crafts, stouts. I'll get you anything you want. I'll, I'll just be right back. This is our assistant manager, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, hey, where are those small bite-sized chocolates that I love so much? Now, aisle two, down the end on the right. I just dropped off a delivery and an invoice. I'll be back on Wednesday. Bye, ladies. Mwah. Bye, huggers. What did that motherfucker just say? Do you have a brother in a gang that was in here earlier? Huh? Earlier, there was a guy in here. Kept saying the same thing you... Fernando, you have to go. You can't stay in here. Well? Well, last night, you six or eight, ten crazy bastards. I couldn't keep track of them with so many. They came in after two o'clock, demanded that I sell alcohol. What'd you do? Told them I couldn't. Told them I'd get in trouble. Good. But that's when they got pissed and got physical with me. They pulled out guns and knives. I think one of them had a bow and arrow. They pulled me from behind the counter, dragged me down the aisle, forced me to open the doors, and then they walked out with a bunch of alcohol. No. I was gonna use my self-defense training on them, you know? But then I figure, they get hurt, what are they gonna do? They sue the store for the hospital bills. Wow. Plus, if I'm throwing them around the store, a bunch of the product's gonna get ruined. I didn't want to go down that road. Well, I think you did the right thing. Yeah, it took every fiber of my being not to get violent. But, as my sensei says, the most important thing about karate is no one to use your head, your heart, to defuse any situation. I can't believe this. What was Dave doing during all this? Dave? Oh, Dave was in stock in the cooler. He had no idea what was going on. I know Dave. He's alert, attentive, always has my back. <gasps> Everything happened so fast. Blink of an eye, it was all over. <laughs> Well, I'm just glad no one got hurt. I'm glad I didn't have to hurt anybody. Okay, well, I'm gonna recommend you to my brother for employee of the month. Your picture will go right there. Oh, not really. You don't have to do that, honestly. I don't have to, but I'm going to. Okay? Okay, thanks, I think. Ah! Also, I know he's harmless, but I don't want Fernando hanging around inside the store. All right, understood. Won't, won't happen again. All right, I'm out of here, boys. See you later. Hey, pick that up. All right, he's gone! Fernando! 
those back. Rated TVMA, LSGWPA. It contains strong language, sexual situations, guy with the Boston accent. It is intended only for immature audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Yeah, never open 24 7, 24 7. Hell, even on the weekend, open 24 7, 24 7. We got overpriced, cold as ice, never gonna treat you nice Chopping, lift to smoking and a drinking Hookers, locus, ladies of the night Pimps, perverts, losers, dudes who just ain't right 24-7, 24-7 Yeah! How even on the weekend open 24-7, 24-7 How even on the weekend Seven, Trunks and Seven Dealers dealing, Salmon. cracking, crossed out. Yeah! Oh man, I cannot wait till Karen and Shadow get here. Hey man, what's Shadow's real name? I think it's Doc Area. That's very funny. I get it though. Shadow, dark area. Well, what's the dude's real name? I don't give a shit. I just want to get out of here. Then I'm going right home, sparking up a joint, watching some you porn, and then I'm gonna sleep for like 14 hours. Why does gay dwarf bestiality porn help you get to sleep at night? Only the gay dwarf bestiality porn your dad and your dog starring. Whoa! Oh! I draw the line at you making fun of my dog. I love my dog, and I won't have you making fun of me. Sorry about that. Shouldn't you be sweeping the floor around now? It's your turn. Teacher's pet. Don't miss that spot on aisle two. It's Karen and her shadow. Funny, like I have never heard that one before. Get it, Karen? That's his name. He came in behind you like a shadow. Look who still has a sense of humor after the graveyard shift and everything. So what's the deal, Karen? Did that lame ass, no personality boyfriend of yours give you a ride? No. Did you guys break up? Let's go out tonight. We didn't break up. He's away on business. Away on business? He's definitely cheating on you. No, he's not. Are you serious? Of course he's probably banging his secretary right now as we speak. She didn't go with him. Oh, she didn't go? Then he's banging the stripper he met last night at the club. He spent 20 grand making it rain. 20 grand you were saving for your dream wedding. I, you have to break up with him. I'm sure he didn't do that. Come on, Karen. Of course he did. That'd be like saying Shadow here wasn't up all night watching Star Wars in sequential order. There's only one way to watch Star Wars, and that's in sequential order. Starting with Phantom Menace, which was released May 19th, 1999. Don't make me hurt you so early in the morning. Right, sorry, I forgot how sensitive you are about the correct viewing order of, of Star Wars. All right, you two, enough. So, how'd it go last night, boys? Ryan got robbed! You did? <laughs> what happened? Are you okay? I'm okay, it's fine. Let's just say... One of LA's most notorious gangs came rolling through, so sent them packing. That's scary. Don't be scared. I'll hold you. Besides, the way I handle it, let's just say they won't be back anytime soon. 
Ryan, can you come back here for a minute before you leave? Uh-oh, looks like someone's being called to the principal's office. Nah, he probably just wants to go over the details of my Employee of the Month Award. Mm -hmm. Hey, what's up there? Oh, sorry. I just wanted to have you take a look at something. Sure, what is it? Ooh. Surveillance footage. Forgot about that. All right. Well, here you are being assaulted by a guy holding a burrito, steaming hot. Yeah. Then you're helping them carry out beer from the cooler they didn't pay for. Look at this. You're helping the robber. How nice is that? Oh, now you've stopped in the snack aisle and you're picking out snacks that go well with the beer they stole. Hmm, what are you doing? Are you carrying one of the robbers out? Here they are, finally leaving. You run out to get them to come back since they forgot to take the money from the cash register. There you are in the fetal position, crying like a little baby back there. Are you eating beef jerky right here? I'll bet you are. And you helped yourself to it, and you didn't pay for any of it. Do you want to say more? No, that was enough. Well, anything to say? That was tough to watch, Dan. I'm not going to lie. That was worse than a Kevin Costner movie where he's doing a Boston accent. And let's face it, Dan, if anyone can judge a bad Boston accent, I'm the guy. Am I right? Ryan, if it were anyone else, I would fire them. But I like you. And I'm in such a good mood this morning, I'm not going to. Excellent. Thanks. But I am going to dock your pay for the missing product. <sighs> Come on, Dan. I'm broke as it is. It's not because you got robbed by some dude with a gun you can eat. It's because you lied to me. I also picked up Barbara's shit in aisle five. Doesn't that count for something? Mm. Alright, I'll cut the amount in half. Alright, that's fair. Just do me a favor. Don't say anything to anyone. Especially Karen. Okay. Will do. You know what, Dan? I'm gonna get you one of those mugs that says World's Greatest Boss. Because you know what? That's what you are. World's Greatest Boss. Ryan, one more thing. Sure. Try to be more like Dave. You were right when you said he's always alert, attentive, and a <clears throat> very loyal employee. I did say that. Yeah, I'll try and be more like Dave. Yeah. Attention shoppers! Ryan Marley was robbed by a guy holding a burrito last night. Please be on the lookout for the Burrito Bandit and his gang. He's known to be armed with hot sauce and considered dangerous, so do not approach them. Have a good day. It was heated on high, twice, motherfuckers. <laughs> Thank you.